Hey everybody, it's me, Kieran McLean, and welcome back to this week's video. So this week's video, I'm going to discuss about my personal experience and my life during the last year or so during lockdown, and what struggles I've personally had to conquer and battle as I've been a, um, a clinically extremely... Re a clinically extremely vulnerable person. Now I hope you guys have managed to enjoy the first week and a half to two weeks uh, post lockdown. I hope you've managed to get out, see some of your friends, go to a beer garden and have some fun. I've personally managed to get my hair cut finally, which I'm so happy about because Jesus Christ it was getting a nightmare to deal with. But anyway, getting off topic already, let's move on to this week's video. So everyone should know now that lockdown originally began just over a year ago when it was on the 23rd of March he uh, addressed the nation on TV and told everyone to stay at home and to save lives. Now from that moment we've been in and out of lockdowns, a bit confusing. Um, personally for me because of how terrified I was being a, a CEV person I I treated the whole last year, just over a year, as um, a complete lockdown. I've not risked going out in public other than the odd walk where I've walked past people. The only times I left the house personally was to go out on a walk, to walk my dog and to attend hospital appointments, which I still had to do for my transplant. Now, the most frustrating part for me was it was only about six, seven months prior to the not lockdown when I had my transplant. Now, before that, I was on my PD dialysis, which I did nocturnally. And because I was that exhausted, that tired and that fatigued during that, lock um, that lockdown, that dialysis, I didn't really have a social life. I would stay at home, do everything from home, and I didn't really get out and do much. Now, one of my biggest focuses post-transplant, once everything had stabilised, I wanted to go out and travel, go on holidays more. Maybe starting off across the country, around the country. But by the time I'd recovered well enough from the transplant to start doing that sort of thing, bam, lockdown hits. Now, that's an extra whammy for me as... For, like, for me personally, this lockdown or this lifestyle I've lived during lockdown has felt very similar for the past four years now when I started dialysis in 2017. So in a way, there was a bonus there as during lockdown, it wasn't alien to me to stay at home. So I had plenty of things to keep me busy and I was used to that lifestyle. So it didn't really phase me much. It was just a little frustrating knowing that I was well enough to go out and do things, but because of lockdown, I was unable to. Now, personally for me, throughout my time with kidney disease, I've felt like I've had this social anxiety inside of me, where I struggle to speak to people face to face and hold conversations, as I feel like I lost all of that skill, as I spent so much time at home, just whilst everyone else is at school, socialising and chatting with friends. I wasn't doing that because I was stuck at home when I was ill. So I feel like my social anxiety came back a bit during lockdown as I wasn't really getting out and seeing people. So I was kind of just staying at home, not knowing what to do with myself and feeling a bit shy and a bit unsure about getting out and contacting some of my friends. Along with this came um, just g general anxiety of leaving the house. Whereas every time I would leave the house, I would get anxious and I would start getting stomach pains and nerves and sweats, like sweaty palms. So for me, the easiest thing was to just stay at home pretty much all the time. And I would pretty much only leave the house if I absolutely had to. Thank God now I'm starting to overcome that. Now lockdowns are lifted. But there is still a part of me which these nerves are still there. However, I did manage to have my second COVID vaccine uh, last Thursday, so just over a week ago. And that's given me a bit more confidence now. And hopefully in a couple of weeks time when that starts to 
work, I will feel a lot more confident and a lot more safe to go out and do some more things. Now, it got to a point in about September, October time when everyone in my household was starting to work from home and I felt like I was not really doing anything with my life. I'd just be sat in my room, playing on my Xbox, playing on my computer. And I felt like it was time to try and do something, just some sort of hobby, just to keep me focused. And that's when I started my streaming on, over on Twitch, which is twitch.tv forward slash blurstatics. If you guys want to check me out at any point, I tend to stream Mondays to Fridays and the occasional Saturday. But I hope you guys will just give me a follow over there as that's something I've really, really enjoyed and it's managed to help me build my confidence as I've used it as a place to talk to people whilst I'm playing games and it's helped build my social skills up again. And then a couple months later, that's when I thought it's a perfect time to start filming these videos for you guys where I'm trying to raise more awareness for kidney disease. So luckily for me, I felt like I've been doing something productive with my time over the last six months. And these are things that I definitely want to continue for the foreseeable future. There was a time between lockdowns, which was between maybe like June and September, October time, when places start opening up again, the things like the eat out to help out scheme happened. And during that time, I got out once or twice just to try and push myself out. But I knew I just wasn't happy. And that's when I went back into my little cave and came back home. And then a second lockdown happened anyway, so I just felt comfortable to stay at home at that point. But yeah, because I was a CEV patient, due to me being on immune suppressants, I knew that this, being on, having a suppressed immune system, I felt like I was more susceptible to catching the virus. So this is why my anxiety was through the roof and I didn't want to risk anything. As I knew if I caught this, uh, caught COVID and caught the virus, I knew I was going to feel very ill with it. However, now that lockdown's eased, I'm hoping to try and get out more, socialise more and do something with my life as now it's time to break out of this shell and to get out there and not feel like I'm trapped at home constantly. Now, I understand this video has been a bit mismatched. It's been a bit all over the place. So I apologise for that. I just knew there were certain things I wanted to talk about and wanted to, to get them out there. Just for the people that felt like they're in the same situation as me. I felt like they had someone to relate to out there. Oh yeah, guys, I'm planning on doing a Q&A sort of video in the near future. So if you guys could leave any questions about kidney disease or about my life personally in the comments below. Or you can get hold of me on Twitter at Blurstatics. Uh, leave your questions with me and I'll be sure to answer them in an upcoming video. But yeah, before this video ends, I just wanted to say I'm putting plans in place at the moment for my second kidney transplant anniversary on the 20th of August. I'm hoping and planning to do a 12-hour 12 12 hour charity stream for Kidney Research UK and Kidney Care UK to try and raise some uh, money for them as I know these are the two main kidney charities in the UK and I'd love to be able to do my part to raise some awareness and some money for them as I know it would go to such a good place and to help people, kidney patients like me, live a better life. I'll be streaming over on my Twitch, which I mentioned before. So if you guys could click, um, give me a follow, if that's, if that's possible, be massively appreciated. And I'm hoping, once again, the 20th of August, I'm hoping to do a 12-hour charity stream in order to raise some money and awareness for these charities. I hope I'll see some of you there. And thank you once again for watching this week's video. I'll see you all next week again with another video. I'm trying to keep it consistent now. But take care for now and I'll see you all next week. Good. Bye.